Morning folks, it's Monday the 3rd of August. We're going to read this morning Psalm 37. Let's hear it together. Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. For like grass they soon fade away, like spring flowers they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiant like the dawn and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. But be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn away from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will, pro will possess the land. Soon the wicked will disappear. Though they look for them, they will be gone. The lowly will possess the land and live in peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against the godly. They snarl at them in defiance. But the Lord just laughs, for he sees their day of judgment coming. The wicked draw their swords and string their bows to kill the poor and oppressed, to slaughter those who do right. But their swords will stab at their own hearts and their bows will be broken. It is better to be godly and have little than to be evil and rich. For the strength of the wicked will be shattered, but the Lord takes care of the godly. Day by day the Lord takes care of the innocent and they will receive an inheritance that lasts forever. They will not be disgraced in hard times. Even in famine they will have more than enough. But the wicked will die. The Lord's enemies are like flowers in the field. They soon disappear like smoke. The wicked borrow and never repay. But the godly are generous givers. Those the Lord blesses will possess the land. But those he curses will die. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble they will not fall. For the Lord holds them by the hand. Once I was young, now I am old. Yet I have never seen the godly abandoned, or their children begging for food. The godly always give generous loans to others, and their children are a blessing. Turn from evil and do good, and you will live in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice, and he will never abandon the godly. But he will keep them safe forever, but the children of the wicked will die. The godly will possess the land and all and will live there forever. The godly give good counsel, they teach right from wrong. They have God's law their their they have made God's law their own, so they will never slip from his path. The wicked wait in ambush for the godly, looking for an excuse to kill them. But the Lord will not let the wicked succeed, or let the godly be condemned when they are put on trial. Put your hope in the Lord, travel steadily along his path. He will honour you by giving you the land. You will see the wicked destroyed. I have seen wicked and ruthless people flourishing like a tree um, in its native soil. But when I look again, they were gone. Though I searched for them, I could not find them. Look at those who are honest and good. For a wonderful future awaits those who love peace. But the rebellious will be destroyed. They have no future. The Lord rescues the godly, for he is their fortress in times of trouble. The Lord helps them, rescuing them from the wicked. He saves them, and they find shelter in him. Amen. It's the end of Psalm 37. It's a psalm of contrasting. A psalm of what happens with good people, with opposed to what happens to wicked people or ungodly people. And the psalmist is trying to, to make that point that, yeah, for the wicked, maybe sometimes things go well for a while, but they will disappear. But if we hold on to God, he is always with us. But verse 7. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. wonder how patient we are at times. wonder how good we are at being still in the presence of the Lord. Uh, we live in a world which acts instantly uh, you get you get a text message you need to reply to it straight away you get an email it's, it's an instant reply 
Um, you know, it's just, just it's the idea of everything on demand, whenever you want it, how you want it. God says be patient and wait for him and for his time. Maybe that's an important lesson for us to learn this day. As we compare and contrast the, the good versus the evil, the godly versus the ungodly, let us be a patient people who are content to wait for God's time and God's will and that we trust that. Let's pray together. Father, thank you that you are ultimately in control, that you do know right from wrong and you teach us right from wrong. Help us to listen and obey. Lord, help us to be patient. Help us to be still in your presence and just to wait on you and on your timing and for your perfect will. Father, thank you that you are in control. And please just bless us today and always. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks. See you again tomorrow. Bye.